Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you Extreme Bookmarking How to Manage All of Those Apps, Part 2 Chrome or whatever browser you use. And I want to start right off the bat by saying a lot of you, I would think a lot of you would be thinking, what's he going to show me about how to set up bookmarks? Who doesn't know how to do that? But I was surprised a number of years back when this had originally become my only system for managing all the bookmarks for all the apps and different things, you know, from apps that I used to articles that I wanted to clip and read later on. I had everything in Chrome bookmarks, and but I had it really organized in folders and subfolders and such so that I could, you know, find things. And even with that organized a system, it got clunky and I outgrew, you know, only using Chrome. I'm still, of course, I still use Chrome bookmarks, but there's a lot of things I've taken out of that solution and put into other ones that I think are better. Um, but I was surprised when I once kind of showed people in passing while I was demonstrating something else, I showed people, oh, and it was kind of like, oh, and by the way, look how organized my Chrome bookmarks are. And people went nuts. They were like, oh, my God, I never thought of doing that. You know, and, you know, a few of my good friends uh, went out there and started posting videos on how they were now organizing their bookmarks using their Chrome browser. So, so I, I've learned not to assume anything. And I think there's some things I can show you along the lines of some tips and tricks for best practices while you're using your browser's bookmarks in terms of little subtle details to pay attention to. Also, Chrome's got this uh, newer, new-ish feature called your reading list, which is actually pretty handy. So uh, we'll take a quick look at that. But first, the solution at hand. Um, you know, I mentioned in the last video about Mighty Networks and how I've, you know, how I've got a solution for that. Everything pretty much goes on the bookmarks bar, right? And the bookmarks bar, of course, is what you see here across the top. My goal is always to make sure everything in the bookmarks bar can actually fit in to this view. So as soon as you see what you're seeing here, where you have to go to this to get to the extra stuff, it means I've got to organize things or organize them a little bit better. Find a home. I know what this is, and I think I put this in the reading list, actually. I did, and so let's do that. I'm going to open this up real quick, blur out the sensitive information because this is a client document. And I'll click this, and I'll just click Add to Reading List. And I'll close this real quick, and then I'll delete the bookmark. Okay, so you can, so now you've seen the reading list. This is something, like I said, that's new or new-ish that you can use to just kind of, this is like your read later list. Of course, the problem with this is the same problem I had here at one point where it just got too cluttered. You, what I used to have in here was every single article I wanted to read and it just, things accumulated that I never read or if I read them, I didn't, you know, take them out and then I didn't know what I read or hadn't read. I had no system, right? It was just bookmarked. So now what you see here in my reading folder are all the different publications that I like to read regularly, right? Of course, the QuickBooks blog, entrepreneur.com. Feedly is a feed reader that I use that years ago you might recall. Uh, a lot of people use Google's uh, you know, feed reader, and then Google deprecated it, got rid of it, and <clears throat> most people moved over to Feedly from there. So that's pretty clear and straightforward. For the apps that I use, first of all, for the ones that I use most frequently, like the things I use every single day, I created this folder called The Office. And so these are all the apps that I use pretty much on a daily basis, if not daily, then frequently enough. And in some cases, they're also like Google Tables is something I'm researching, so I don't want to forget about it, so I stick it there, right? I could create a subfolder for research. I've done that kind of thing before. It starts to get clunky, and that's, that's one of the problems I have with the structure and the bigger picture when you start to accumulate a lot of stuff is that it gets clunky and it gets hard to kind of follow a logic so that you can easily remember when you have no independent recollection of like, where did I put that? I don't remember how it, and the way I think I might've organized it isn't. And that's, that's where I ran into problems with this, where I decided I needed better systems for, you know, things that go beyond the basic bookmarks that I need to keep track of, such as, you know, the, like I said, these are the apps that I use daily for everything else. I go to services and there's some duplication. I mentioned this in the last video. There's some duplication here where I have copies of the same bookmark, <clears throat> but if I have to update it or change something about it in one place, it's not going to affect the other, right? So services I've got broken down into different categories, okay? So I have my, and these are really apps, right? I called them services. So I have accounting apps. This is just what I consider to be accounting apps. Banking, these are bank websites that I visit frequently because they're either my bank or my clients, right? CDNs, content delivery networks, SoundCloud, Vimeo, YouTube. I used to have these under social, 
I didn't like having them under social because I feel like these aren't really social networks, although although I can see where some people would want to group them there. So the key to setting up, if you're going to use the browser's bookmarks, is to be ridiculously organized about them. Communications apps, right? Um, entertainment, right? This is streaming stuff, right? And of course, no bookmarking system is complete without a link to play Pac-Man once in a while, right? You got to have that. Um, file storage apps, you get the idea, right? And, and here's the thing I really want you to focus on, though. I'm going to pick on my Southworks link that's here for Mighty Networks. And when you bookmark something, pay attention to the URL, right? What what area within that app are you bookmarking, right? It's not the same. So, for example, this b link that I've set up as the bookmark in Sethworks takes you straight to the most logical place you would probably want to use, which is the feed. So it gives you the most recent stuff that got posted here, right? But maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want to go to the discovery area. So notice when I click on this, of course, the URL changes to discovery. So I'm going to copy that. And then back over here in the bookmarks, we're going to edit it. And I'm just going to edit the URL so that the next time I click on it, it's going to take me right to the discovery feed. Now, let's say because this is a network that I'm in all the time, <coughs> I might want to set up multiple uh, bookmarks to places that I want to get to frequently. So like in this network, I have spaces, which are groups, basically. Okay. And let's say I really want to get to the apps and process and workflow design space, you know, like frequently. I just want to check in and see what's new here. So again, I can I can bookmark this specifically. I'll add the bookmark. Uh, not just to the bookmarks bar. So I'll go to choose another folder. And let's go to Mighty Networks. And I'll put it right here for now. But notice what it did. It picked up the name of the space, but I don't know from looking at this that this is Sethworks. So let's go Sethworks, right? In other words, be organized. Take the time to set this up if you're going to use this system in a way that's going to make it really easy to understand what you're looking at and where it's going to take you. And then I'll click Save. And now I'll find this here. And what will happen, the way these things evolve for me is if I start adding a bunch of URLs at Sethworks, there's going to come a point in time where I'm going to want to add a new folder called Sethworks, right? Because this is going to get cluttered. And I'll just drag these in there. OK, and then we'll sort by name. Click into here. And sort by name isn't necessary in this case, but as, out of, as a matter of habit, I always just do that when I create a new folder like this to make sure everything's sorted alphabetically. Now you do have search in here. I've just never liked using the search in a browser and I'll show you why. And may, I may I may be about to be surprised. Maybe they fixed this. But if I start typing, for example, Sethworks here, <coughs> this has gotten better. I can click here and it takes me to the location. It used to be that you would just get a list of search results and there was no context for where that bookmark was located. So even after searching, I'd have no idea where to go to find it independent of just searching for it again. And that drove me nuts. I wanted to, if I had to, if it came to where I had to search for it, I wanted to make sure that once I did search for it, I can easily pinpoint its location within the bookmark structure. So this is a major improvement. I probably haven't tried this in years, honestly. Um, so that's good. It's good to know that that works that way now. It didn't always. That much I can assure you. So I'm not going to sort of belabor the point. Like I said, I think for the most part, most of you understand the concept of how to set up bookmarks in a browser-based system. So I'm going to leave you with those few thoughts and those few tips and tricks. As always, I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. And if nothing else, I hope it inspired some ideas that you can think about for ways that you can either create or improve your system for how you might be using your browser's bookmarks to keep track of all the different apps and other places that you need to go on a regular or maybe even not so regular basis.